How Central Banks Work The term bank usually brings to mind a commercial institution where individuals manage their finances by utilizing services like deposits and loans. However, there is another type of financial institution known as a central bank that does not have a commercial purpose but is of immense significance to the economy. The central bank plays a critical role in the economic system, serving as a regulator and implementing policies to influence the economy's performance. The functions of a central bank are primarily focused on managing the monetary system of a nation or a group of nations. This public institution is responsible for implementing monetary policies that aim to stabilize the economy and maintain price stability. Additionally, central banks are in charge of controlling the money supply, managing the currency of the country or region, and regulating financial institutions to ensure a stable financial system. These responsibilities play a crucial role in the economic development of a country and have a significant impact on the financial well-being of its citizens. Some of the main responsibilities central banks have are Defining monetary policy Central banks play a crucial role in achieving macroeconomic objectives, such as maintaining price stability and promoting economic growth. To accomplish this, financial authorities utilize various tools, including setting official interest rates that affect the cost of borrowing money. Depending on the prevailing economic conditions, central banks may increase official interest rates to curb inflation or decrease them to stimulate consumer spending and bolster economic expansion. Regulating Money in Circulation Central banks have the power to issue coins and banknotes and regulate the money supply, which helps to maintain a suitable level of liquidity in the economy for transactions among various economic players such as households, businesses, and governments. Additionally, central banks are responsible for managing currency operations to ensure exchange rate stability, as well as owning and managing official reserves of currency. Overseeing the Interbank Market Central banks have the responsibility of upholding financial regulations and overseeing the functioning of national payment systems to ensure their proper operation. This involves monitoring and enforcing compliance with relevant financial laws to maintain the integrity and stability of the financial system. Moreover, central banks are responsible for ensuring the smooth functioning of payment systems, which are vital for facilitating transactions within the economy. Loaning liquidity to commercial banks, if necessary for solvency issues. In addition to interbank market lending, commercial banks can obtain liquidity from central banks by providing collateral such as guaranteed public bonds. This enables commercial banks to fulfill their short-term liquidity requirements while central banks work towards maintaining price stability by regulating credit fluctuations by accepting collateralized loans. Central banks provide a safety net to the banking system and ensure the availability of funds when required. Taking on an advisory role Central banks carry out independent research and produce reports that provide valuable insights for governments and private organizations. These efforts are aimed at promoting financial stability, regardless of the political party in power. The decision-making process of central banks is governed by the supervisory body that oversees their operations. This ensures that their actions remain independent and objective, with the sole aim of maintaining a stable financial system. Why is monetary policy important? Central banks implement monetary policy to regulate economic fluctuations and achieve price stability, which involves maintaining low and stable inflation. A number of central banks in advanced economies establish explicit targets for inflation, and this practice is also being adopted by many developing nations. The primary tool used by central banks to implement monetary policy is the manipulation of the money supply through buying or selling securities in the open market. Such open market operations have an impact on short-term interest rates, which in turn influence long-term rates and overall economic activity. When central banks lower interest rates, it is seen as an expansionary monetary policy, while raising interest rates is regarded as a contractionary monetary policy. How has monetary policy been used recently? Following the global financial crisis of 2007, central banks in advanced economies adopted an expansionary monetary policy, reducing interest rates until they reached near zero levels, which limited further cuts. 
Some central banks resorted to unconventional monetary policies, such as purchasing long-term bonds to drive down long-term rates, and even taking short-term rates below zero. During the COVID-19 pandemic, central banks implemented measures to ease monetary policy, provide market liquidity, and ensure the steady flow of credit. In response to stress in currency and bond markets, many emerging market central banks employed foreign exchange interventions and, for the first time, asset purchase programs. However, with the rapid increase in inflation, central banks worldwide have recently begun implementing a tighter monetary policy by raising interest rates. Tools and methods used by central banks to achieve their objectives. Central banks use various tools to achieve their objectives, including open market operations, reserve requirements, and discount rates. They can also use unconventional tools like quantitative easing to boost the economy. Setting interest rates as a tool of monetary policy. Interest rates are a vital tool in monetary policy, and central banks use them to control inflation and promote economic growth. By raising interest rates, central banks can slow down the economy and reduce inflation, while lowering interest rates can stimulate economic growth. Open Market Operations and Their Impact on the Economy Open market operations involve buying and selling government securities to influence the money supply and interest rates. When central banks buy securities, they increase the money supply, lower interest rates, and stimulate economic growth. When they sell securities, they decrease the money supply, raise interest rates, and slow down the economy. Unconventional monetary policies used by central banks during times of economic crisis, central banks can use unconventional monetary policies to boost the economy. One such policy is quantitative easing, where central banks buy long-term government bonds and other securities to increase the money supply and lower interest rates. Regulation of financial institutions by central banks. Central banks are responsible for regulating and supervising financial institutions to maintain the stability of the financial system. They monitor banks and other financial institutions to ensure they operate within legal and ethical standards and are financially stable. Ensuring Price Stability Through Monetary Policy Central banks work to maintain price stability by controlling inflation. They use various tools, including interest rates and open market operations, to keep inflation low and stable, which is essential for economic growth. Promoting Economic Growth Through Central Bank Actions Central banks also promote economic growth by providing liquidity to financial markets, reducing interest rates, and providing loans to banks and other financial institutions. These actions stimulate economic activity and encourage businesses to invest and grow. What central banks are there? Central banks can represent a single country's financial institution or a group of countries, such as the Eurozone. The Euro system, which is responsible for the Eurozone's monetary policy, is composed of the European Central Bank and the national central banks of member states that use the Euro as their official currency, such as the Bank of Spain, Deutsche Bundesbank, and the National Bank of Poland. Meanwhile, the European system of central banks encompasses all national central banks of European Union member states, whether or not they use the euro as their official currency. In the United States, the Federal Reserve System, commonly known as the Fed, acts as the central banking system and is responsible for overseeing the country's economy and currency, which is the dollar. Other examples of central banks in the Americas include Banxico for Mexico and Banco Central do Brasil for Brazil. The importance of central banks in the global economy Central banks play a crucial role in the global economy by managing monetary policy and regulating the financial system. They promote economic growth and maintain price stability, which is essential for a healthy economy. The actions of central banks affect the economy and financial markets, making them a critical component of the global financial system. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to our channel for more educational content on economics and finance. Thank you for watching.